You're listening to The Corbett Report. Welcome, friends. James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com in Acapulco, Mexico. It is the 15th of February, 2020, and it's an old interview cliche that my next guest needs no introduction, but my next guest needs no introduction. Dr. Ron Paul, welcome to The Corbett Report. Thank you. Nice to be with you. Yeah, it's nice to have you here in Acapulco, Mexico, where, we're, of course, we're attending the Anarchapulco Conference. So in keeping with the theme of the conference, let's ask some questions related to politics and the political process, like you were talking about at your speech last night. Um, let's start with a simple question that has profound ramifications. Do you think liberty can be achieved through the political process? I, I don't think we have many choices. We have to deal with the political process because they're the enemy of liberty. So you have to undo the political process or re-educate people. I don't, I don't see it as a political problem. I think it's a philosophic problem of people understanding what liberty is all about, what sound economic policy is about, what monetary policy is about, because the, the political system is just a reflection of prevailing ideas. So the enemy is a prevailing idea that uh, people need authoritarians in, in, uh, in charge through government, which has been throughout history, to tell people how they should live. And they're motivated sometimes by wanting to help people, uh, which is very dangerous, and sometimes they're motivated just for their own self-interest. And most of the time it's power and money and control that uh, motivates them. I know a lot of people went to Washington that I saw and they were well motivated, but then they soon blended in because of the system, the political system overrode what they believed, the philosophic system. But uh, no, the political action it will eventually have to happen. All revolutions are that way, but uh, my goal is to keep it a peaceful, philosophic, ideological uh, revolution so people's minds are changed. You can't, if they'd say that, uh, we wanted to uh, uh, you know, bring about a monetary system that I would endorse. Well, you can't do it by force because there's too many special interests benefiting. Every, every, everybody from rich to poor, uh, every level, everybody you know, is dependent on free stuff and there's nothing freer than free money. Uh, of course, the consequence is deadly and that's what I've concentrated on.